That was a big yawn. Live, Norwegian Dawn. It is day four. Where are we, Sue? We are in Rotan, Honduras. Honduras. Uh, we arrived 10 o'clock. Oh, beautiful. For a guy that does not love excursions, what a beautiful excursion day this is. Why do you say that? Because we arrive at 10 o'clock. We do not have to meet for our excursion until noon. I should mention, as far as excursions, we booked... Four ports, four excursions. Three of them are through Norwegian. Yes. Fourth one was independent. Mm -hmm. Uh, We have to meet for our Norwegian excursion today at noon. God bless you. Three and a half hours. Half the length of yesterday. Where are we going? What's this? Where are we going at Honduras? Where are we going? Well, I like to call it Goomba Limba, knowing how in the Spanish language you pronounce your vowels but i've heard it also called gumba limba which isn't quite as exotic so take your pick it's a monkey preserve well it's not just it's a nature preserve but i'm very excited about the monkeys we got monkeys we've never been to a monkeys no i've never i've never actually well in zoos i've seen monkeys but not monkeys that are climbing on you this is the going again going back to youtube addicted to youtube this is us watching the Who's the video of them climbing on you. That's this right. is this excursion. Have you? I I hope that they're not poop throwing monkeys. Why is this two days in a row of you and your obsession? I, don't all people know that monkeys throw poop? It's not that I'm obsessed with it. It's There's, just that my daughter. I got into a, a conflict with her that I was making such a big deal about poop throwing and monkeys. Yeah. There's like memes. There's like dozens of signs from nature preserves of warning people of throwing monkeys okay poop. so it's uh, what i'm saying is not so one crazy. of these days we should just all get together oh and you know what i have a secret everybody poops well, i was gonna say one of these days we should get together and like combat the monkeys we should just show up prepared to that's can you imagine the monkeys being stop. like that just stop so is this the whole thing is it monkeys or what, what's going on here it's three, well, three and a no, half hours. The NCL site says that you are we are committed for three and a half hours. What's going on? Right. Well, it's there's also um, Captain John Coxon. There, it, it's his stolen treasure. He's a pirate. Arr, a pirate. I don't know what this means. So trace the steps of the real pirates of the Caribbean inside Coxon's cave, where you'll encounter the infamous Captain John Coxon, his stolen treasure, and colorful sculpted murals depicting Honduran history. So there were actually pirates here. So is my understanding. I mean, this physical location? I think they're all dead now, but yes. Hmm. Interesting. Anything else going on? That so pretty much touches wise, our three and a half hours. Timing. Leave at noon. Three and a half hours. I think it's like a 25-minute bus or van ride to the actual it's Nothing park. water. Do we know that no for a No water. Fact? No water. Just, just oh, sweet. by road. Uh, that's it that's it so what are we doing this evening what's for dinner this is like the transitional period for the cruise for me is it bad that like I look forward to getting past the excursions why because you're excited about going to dinner no it's because no because at this point in the vacation halfway through more than halfway through it's like easy sailing from here on out we have harvest key tomorrow Mm -hmm. we have the beach excursion the next day and then we have a sea oh. day it's like uh, i asked oh, you so you I, mean the level of energy no, necessary you, to exert i asked you a few days ago about how do you feel about commitment outside of and this is my vacation is i don't want commitments okay so this I, is like hump day for you we should commit our next cruise should be transatlantic <laughs> we could you imagine having seven sea days I can't imagine at this point in my life being gone for that long. I, it would be great. I just don't know that I but, can do it. You know what's fascinating? is so many people 
when on Cruise Critic, they comment about don't pick it for the ship, pick it for the itinerary. I think I'm the opposite. I know. I, I, love, I love the ship. I, I, I don't, if you told me I, I got on a cruise and I could never get off the ship, I'd be fine with it. I would be absolutely fine with it. I love, and not that I don't love seeing all these different places in the world, but I just love ship life, as I think you do. I'm starting to wonder if we did this trip wrong. Should we not have committed to anything and just get off and wander and get back on the ship? No, I think I like to have a nice sewn up itinerary. I, I kind of like that I don't have to think too hard about it and have the pressure of worrying about how to get somewhere and what are we going to do? And there's a lot of time wasted with that. So I appreciate the you know, schedule. What's funny, I just realized... I was excited when I first saw this this itinerary, mm -hmm. back to the itinerary over the cruise ship, mm -hmm. because I've never seen the Mayan ruins. Mm -hmm. We aren't really seeing the Mayan ruins. We'll see a, a little bit. We'll see some ruins at Ishkaret. Or we did. Oh, you just totally broke down the barrier. <laughs> this is so depressing. I, I was so excited for Mayan ruins, and we, we totally skipped it. It's all right. Uh, so we're back three and a half hours, departing at noon, back at 3.30. A little bit better math than yesterday's video where I was off by an hour. Uh, nice part. I don't know if there's anything around the port. Do you have any idea about this port? I mean, don't all ports have a ton of shopping? Okay. Wouldn't that be a missed opportunity I'll for I'll be getting natives? my hair weaved when we get back to the port at 3.30. And then we are departing at 6 o'clock from Honduras. We have dinner at Teppanyaki tonight. You know what's funny? We've had dinner once at Teppanyaki mm -hmm. on Norwegian, mm -hmm. and it was a extremely special trip. It was. It was my parents' 50th anniversary, mm -hmm. and we had, was that our first night? I think it, was that our first or second I night? Don't, I can't remember that. And we had both tables facing each other, and the two, are they called chefs? Is that what they are? Yes. The two of them worked so amazing together. They were. It, the was, the best, the it time, was the best hibachi I'd ever been to. It was the highlight. I, don't, I can't say it was a highlight of that trip, but it was. It was there such, were too many highlights on it. It was trip. the fun highlight of that trip. That was a really to great To look night. around from the 15 people sitting around there from three generations mm -hmm. between grandkids, parents, grandparents. S your siblings. And seeing everybody smiling, laughing. It was amazing. And then there was me. And then we are going to be there tonight, just the two of us, surrounded by other people and other families. And we're going to sit there at a table where there's people that aren't clapping and having fun. And it's going to be you and I. But you know what I saw? Did you get this cocktail last time? There's a cocktail that has so many ingredients that don't involve co that don't involve alcohol. I'm like, no, this is a Sioux drink. Leaky? What's what's the lychee. fruit that you like? Lychee. That's you love the lychee. We actually yes. eat the fruit. Mm -hmm. It's got lychee liqueur. Lemon juice, orange juice, grenadine, maybe a little bit of sake to start it off with. But that's totally your kind of drink. I, I want to say that maybe I did try it. I don't know. But so we are at Teppanyaki tonight at time 7.15. Tomorrow. Yeah, it's, it's not bad. We're at Norwegian's private island tomorrow. Harvest Key, the new Harvest Key that opened up a week ago, week and a half ago. It'll be nice to relax after two days of exploring. There's no commitment. The ship will be within eyesight the entire time. Doug doesn't like commitment. I don't. I really don't. You really don't in life at all. <laughs> that was You took it too far. But live from the Norwegian Dawn, it is day. I don't know. It's day four. Four. Uh, we are in Honduras. Rotan. I was still right with Honduras, right? Yes, you were right. Good. Don't have to redo this video. Hey, we'll see you. Let's go have some fun. <laughs>